Stitcherista says hello sometimes and she has she got it from some other Floss Tube. Uh, welcome to Floss Tube 43. It's Tuesday the 5th of October. I'm a day late but there's a reason for that. Um, first of all I would like to say sorry, an apology for uh, to, to Dee for saying she when I uh, should say they them. I'm still learning and I didn't mean to offend anyone or be disrespectful in, disrespectful in any way and that is never my intention and if you don't know that about me then now you know or don't let the door hit you in the face when you leave. So Rachel Thank you for the gentle reminder. Reminder, it's very appreciated. I will do my very best to say the right thing in the future. So, and Rachel, thank you for the coffees. Very appreciated. And even Michelle from Denmark, thank you very much. Um, I'm always so surprised when I get these coffees and sometimes I really don't feel that I deserve it so but it is very very appreciated and this time I, I will not you know uh, use it on uh, materials or patterns I wanted to use it for the giveaway but the giveaway winner <laughs> is Mise Jensen which is Michelle. So Michelle and she writes, Halloween is so much fun with all the spooky and cute things. And it's almost Festelown twice. And Festelown is a Danish tradition. Um, we do have it in the other Nordic countries as well, but Festelown is a carnival um, celebration in a way in like the end of February, March. Um, and I remember when I lived in Denmark that the kids all, you know, dressed up like on Halloween and they were pa painting their faces and we were eating special cakes um, from the bakery. And I think the kids were going around with some some drawings they were selling. You could give them money or sweets. And in Sweden, <clears throat> we don't have festelown. Well, it's almost the same, I guess. We eat a special like bun with some cream on it's called semla um so that's how we celebrate with that so Lise, congratulations you have just won yourself a heaven and earth sign pattern so i will comment on your comment i will contact you on email because we have already talked so uh you can either tell me which pattern you want or give me your wish list and I will just choose one for you. So with that out of the way, I myself won a giveaway on Debbie's channel, Creatively, Creatively Yours. And I won a heaven and earth pattern as well. And it was such a nice surprise. And I'm so glad it was from Debbie. I love Debbie. I love to watch her channel. And uh, she got my wish list over at, at Heaven and Earth. And she chose Autumn uh, by Josephine Wall. Now, before I continue, since I'm a day late and it's pretty late on this Tuesday evening, I'm going up tomorrow again for work. So I will not edit anything i will not put in pictures or anything this time i'm very sorry don't hate me i will make it up to you another time i just want to do this floss two video so you don't have to wait any more days for it to be done but debbie thank you very much i love it i love the colors and it's perfect for this time of year and i can't wait to get it started <laughs> So let's continue to whips. Um, you know, the stitch whatever you want, whenever you want, continue 
continued and I've been jumping from one project to another. Uh, but uh, last week and the week before was still sampler September. So as you remember, I finished my Anne Morrison, but I continued with another sampler. Whoops. And the other sampler was Jane Hearth, also a Hands Across the Sea sampler. And it looks like this. And what I stitched is the greens here and the both flowers I started on them. And I'm stitching this on 40 count linen. And I'm using the soy dial share threads. <laughs> I know I had a comment. I, I forgot to look it up. I got a comment explaining to me how I was going to pronounce the soy dial share. <laughs> and she always thinks about like soya sauce or something like that when she heard me. Yeah. But I think you all know what I mean. So that's what I started out with. I was pretty fast bored because I had been intensely stitching a sampler. By the way, I'm not drinking coffee this evening. Can you imagine? That's so weird. I only drink tea when I like when I have a cold. I don't have a cold, but I found this tea which smells like cinnamon and I so I couldn't resist. And it tastes really good. What did I stitch on after I was bored with Jane Hearth? Well, let me take a look at my notes. I stitched. Oh, yes. I'm like all about let's finish up the goals as many as I can. And one goal was to finish up a certain part of Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And that's what I did. I cannot believe I made it. It's such a big goal. And at the same time, I'm like, okay, I'm done with Once Upon a Fairy Tale now for a while. At the same time, I'm like, I need to continue because I need to find out what's coming. We all know it's not winter. So, where is it? Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is so freaking cool. I'm so happy. I cannot believe that I have actually, me, I have actually done this. 4% done, 4%. So I finished this part here. I had stitched quite a lot over here. I finished the, the sword and the rocks and this thing here. So it's like four pages done. What? Almost four, four percent. I think, I think the pattern is like a hundred pages, isn't it? I'm so good. <laughs> so I'm very curious of, you know, the next part here. So there's a lot of purple in those rocks, but it is so cool. Yeah, enough with that. It's stitched on 25 count. I'm using one thread of DMC and I'm stitching it one over one full cross. So Anne Morrison finishing the sampler was one go. Finish the 4% of Once Upon a Fairy Tale. It's the super sized and max colors, by the way, in case you were, in case you were wondering. Another goal met. Um, oh, 
And by the way, I've been having trouble with my Mac microphone when, you know, with the um, USB cord where when I'm transferring the sound over to the computer, I'm having some big troubles with that. So maybe you will just have to do with the bad sound from the phone. I'm very sorry about that, but I cannot afford a new microphone at the moment. What else? Oh, the next goal. 21,000 stitches in 2021. I did it. And the one I did it with, that sounds wrong. The whip I had been working on the whole year, which I wanted to do 21,000 stitches on is my softest steel. And, oh, sorry, the wrong way. So let's see if I can point and hold. Where's my third hand? I need a third hand. So I have stitched like this whole part. Very boring, very boring, but it is what it is. And this is the whole thing. Soft as steel, regular size, stitched on 27 count with one strand of DMC over one full cross. And the artist is Julie Bell Vallejo. Or the husband, I don't know. Let's just say Bell Vallejo. But it's pretty. So I will not stitch on softest steel more this year. I can promise you that. May her rest in peace for a while at least. Oh, and Once Upon a Fairy Tale and Softest Steel are both Heaven and Earth designs. If you didn't know, that's that. And then we hit the 1st of October. That means we left Sampler September and I entered Halloween October. I know there is all kinds of uh, themes out there, but I'm stitching Halloween themed stuff. And on the 1st of October, Casa Sanina, the Italian store, which is like a lifesaver for us European Union citizens, <laughs> if we want to get stuff, you know, which you either get from the UK or the US or Canada, whatever. I think it's great to have a store in Europe. There's another one in Holland, but, uh, you know, Ugh, never mind. Casa Sanina is having a Halloween sale, and I joined it, and it started on the 1st of October, and I've stitched on that. And both the first and second, so it's going to drop in three parts, and both the first and second has dropped. And this is it. It's called Dead and Breakfast. Now I wonder, now you have to tell me if this is like mirrored, because I think I have fixed it. I'm not sure, but please let me know in the comments if it's okay or still mirrored. I would like to know. So yeah, uh, I can move my little needle minder there. So it's going to be, I guess, a gravestone. Yeah. And I'm stitching it on 18 count hand dyed Ada from Crafty Kitten. Um, I, I really like it. It's very soft and nice when it's hand dyed. I thought Ada was so stiff and boring to stitch on, but this is really nice and I like the coverage. It's pretty good, you know. So I'm working a little bit, you know, a thread a day or something. It's a very easy stitch. 
So I'm, I'm curious to what's coming in the last part. So that's that. So, and before I went over to my uh, full coverage, Heaven Earth Halloween whip project, I just, I was dying to stitch on the beauty that will save the world, which is a unconventional cross stitch chart. And I bought the whole kit and it's an Australian company. So nice, great customer service, great prices, fast delivery. It's just perfect. Imagine, you know, Australia is so far away and I got the things so fast and they're so nice. Really, really nice. So I think I just grabbed once upon a fairy tale again. Do you want to see it again? No, let's just, it's late. You need to go to bed. Um, here it is. Um, yeah, so nice. So I actually have, this is how it's going to look. I didn't know there are so many shades of brown. Oh my God, it's amazing. Well, I just had to stitch a little bit on her because I'm like strictly parking this one. So it's really nice. I love that. I love I love the parking method, but parking and you know, uh, max colors, I don't know. This is the, uh, um, this is my progress. I started in the center and I'm, I'm stitching like in a spiral. So let's see. Yeah, I've, I started here and I stitched down like this. So I've stitched about 900 stitches. So I strictly stitch in that one 10 by 10 grid. So if there is nothing to park on the next one, I finish the thread and so it's so nice. And look at the, the details in her upper lip. Holy cow. And this, this artwork is by Adrian, Adrian Bordet. And I'm in a cell that is called hashtag not bored at this cell. Very funny. And it's Kylie who invited me and some other floss tubers who also stitch um, his art. So head over to unconventional cross stitch and take a look at what they have to offer. Very cool stuff. So, and after that, I said, now now it's time to hit the Halloween. And I was lying. I wasn't going to start on my full coverage piece. No, because I wanted to finish something else. You know, Sarah and Simon over at Pain Free, Pain Free Crafts. Well, Simon has asked me quite a few times how far I had got, have gotten on the 2020 cell. And I'm like, not far at all. I'm sorry. And it's the mythical creature cell. And it's so cool. And I just hate myself for not stitching more on that. So I was feeling guilty. And I was thinking, I need to do one more letter. So I did. And you know, it's such a fast stitch. I fit, stitched this over the weekend and it's so freaking cool. And you know, if you're curious on how, you know, you, it looks when you have finished the stitching and you add the, the back stitching, head over to my Instagram, I'm Ronja. Seventy six, Ronya seventy six with double J, 
uh, and you can also find the link uh, down in the description to my Instagram and I show the before and after. It's stitched with two threads over two on 28 count even weight. Um, and yeah, so I finished A, B, C, not D, but E and F. D is a dragon, of course. And I have uh, miscounted somewhere and I was like, eh, just leave it to last. Now, after this, I promise, this, this time I'm telling the truth. After this, Oh, I didn't bring it because I'm supposed to show it in my next floss tube. Okay, I will just tell you about it. I'm not going to run and get it. I um, Then I started on the Quick Stitch Spooky House. Um, yeah, it's a Quick Stitch, but it's Max Colors. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, and... It's like uh, a crop, a, a cutout picture from the treasure hunt bookshelf. And it's so cool. And it's so Halloweenish. So that's what I'm going to focus on for the whole month. And it's not going to be fun to follow actually because I'm, st I'm stitching it extreme cross country. And I think I have like 11,000 stitches in the color 823. And that's the only thing I will stitch. So it's not going to be a lot of fun, but. You will see the next floss tube, I promise. Oi, yay, yay. I'm running through this. That was all the stitching. No more stitching. Cheers. So, plans. Yes. I will continue on the Halloween cell from Casa Sanina, you know, the gravestone. I will continue with my quick stitch. Um, Hello, uh, Heaven and Earth uh, Spooky House and I will also maybe stitch another one on this because you know they're creatures so a little Halloweenish. so I might do another one of them and then I bought a little it was my older sister she's not cross stitching at the moment but she has been a long time ago she was like surfing Etsy and she found some cool cross stitch patterns and she enabled me. Don't enable me. <laughs> anyway, I bought a little pattern. It's a little glass bottle and inside the bottle there's a pumpkin and a bat. No, not a bat. It's um, a spider and a spider web, I think. Very cool. That's what I also would like to start. And there's like French nuts, there's a lot of back stitching, fractional stitching, beads, everything fun in it. So I want to try that. And then there is actually, there is one guy, now I don't remember his name on Instagram. He is stitching. There's a cat sitting on like three pumpkins. It's so freaking cool. It's like almost like a drawing it's so cool i need to get that pattern and also try maybe to start that i don't know we'll see so that's the plans okay now halloween is gone <laughs> so we actually only have hole left by the way guys don't forget 50 percent off on he heaven and earth designs until tomorrow at midnight go get you some patterns um i have a lot of haul i still you know i have a haul from like this summer i've just been piling it up but we'll we can just do it another day because it is late and i really want to go to bed and i want to uh let michelle know that she won the giveaway um yeah so and yeah I'm sorry if it's boring this time. I will make it up to you. I promise. Um, so, yeah. Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a wonderful day. I promise I will see you soon. Mwah, 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 mwah.